And we invite the children to come forward for a sermon that's for you. Of course, all ears are going to hear it, and we love that about worshiping together as all ages. But come on up. It's a chance for you to move around. Come on over. There's some things for you to see, and you get a close view. I'm going to turn on our tree. I know you might think it's a Christmas tree, but really, this is our epiphany tree. Epiphany is the season after Christmas, and this tree is so cool. It lights up, it turns, it's helping us think about the light of God during this whole season. This whole season of Epiphany is about light and shining light on who God is. And so what we're doing to help with that season is taking a word from our worship and using it to think about the gospel and using it to learn more about worship at St. Paul. So we have had a couple weeks in Epiphany already, and as the tree turns, you can see some of the words that we did already. The words will either be a person, a place, or a thing. So the first word that we had was a place. It's the font, the baptism basin over there where the waters are at church. That's one of the words you see on the tree. And the word from last week that's just turning around there was a person. And that special worship word is vicar. It's a title that we give to people learning to be pastors. So that's a church word you might hear as well. So today's church word, our star word, if you will, is in the star box. So you might have a guess. If we already had a place and we already had a person, then our next word is going to be a thing. And I'll take this word out. Again, it's a worship word, a word that you probably only hear at church. This word is the word paramount. Can you guys try saying that with me? Paramount? It's got a lot of syllables to it, doesn't it? Any guesses what a paramount is? It's not a person. It's not a place. It's a thing. Do you have a guess, Adam? Ooh, I like your guess. I think you're taking parts of the word and really thinking well about them. Well, it's something different than that, but it's something I can see here in worship, and you can too. One of the paraments that I see is hanging right here with all those colors on it. It looks like Pastor Rob's going to go and make sure you don't miss it. And look at this. Look how Pastor Rob kind of matches the paramount. So that's one of our paraments. And there's another paramount behind you. It's even larger. It's on the altar, which is the table there where communion is resting. And there you see he also matches that paramount too. So a paramount is like a banner. It's a piece of cloth. It adorns our worship service. And what's the main color that you see on these paraments today? Yeah. Green. So the pyramids change colors. Right now the pyramids are green because we're in a green season. Epiphany is a green time. But sometimes the pyramids are blue, sometimes they're white, so they change. So the pyramids are something for us to see, right? I'm going to put this on our tree so that we've got this word added here, the word pyramid. So a pyramid is designed for us to look at when we come into worship. That makes me think of today's gospel. When Pastor Rob was reading today from the Gospel of Mark, he said two words, two times. And they're kind of small words, so you might have missed it, but I want you to know that Jesus saw. Pastor Rob said in the story today where Jesus goes out to the fishermen, Jesus saw. Jesus saw. With his own eyes, he saw that there were these guys that would follow him, that would leave their nets and follow Jesus. So Jesus noticed them. Jesus saw them. We want our worship here to be a place where you can see things too. It's important to do. So when you come in, there's a lot in worship to hear. There's a lot in worship that we say. But there's also a lot in worship that we see. And so a pyramid is there to help you see ways that you can follow God with all those beautiful images on them and how the colors change as well. So that's our word for today. I have a kid's bulletin to give you that's a lot about that gospel. It's a lot about fish. So I hope you're excited to look at that while you hear the next sermon. But let's say a prayer together now. Please join your hearts with me and the congregation can repeat with me as well. 
Thank you, Lord, for all we see that turns our thoughts to following you. Amen.